In the 11th century, Ibn al-Hasan arrived in Cairo under the reign of Caliph al-Hakim. He proposed to the Caliph a dam building project to improve regulation of the flooding of the River Nile. Later, on finding the dam building proposal as technically impractical, Ibn al hasam was house arrested for 10 long years, from 1011 to 1021. He made prison his workshop. While under arrest, Ibn al hasam started working on his Book of Optics. The Book of Optics, or Kitab al-Manazir, is a seven-volume treatise. A devout Muslim and eminent physicist, Ibn al hasam is known as Al-Hasan in the West. He was born on July 1st, 965 CE in Basra city, located on the Shat al-Arab River in southern Iraq. Considered to be the first scientist and known as the father of experimental physics, modern optics, and scientific methodology, Ibn al hasan significantly contributed to the principle of optics, astronomy, mathematics, meteorology, visual perception, and scientific methodology. He made a thorough examination of the passage of light through various media and discovered the laws of refraction. This laid the founding concept for the microscope, telescope, and other optical technologies. He also carried out the first experiment on the dispersion of light into its constituent colors. He dealt at length with the theory of various physical phenomena like shadows, eclipses, rainbows, and speculated on the physical nature of light. He is the first to describe accurately the various parts of the eye and give a scientific explanation of the process of vision. He also attempted to explain binocular vision and gave a correct explanation of the apparent increase of the size of the sun and moon when near the horizon. He is known for the earliest use of the camera obscura outside of China. In the book, Doubts Concerning Ptolemy, Ibn al hasam says, truth is sought for its own sake. Finding truth is difficult, and the road to it is rough, for truths are plunged into obscurity. A polymath and philosopher, he emphasized the fact that one should not blindly follow the writings of other scientists, that one should always try to investigate phenomenon on one's own in order to uncover the truth and be absolutely sure. Ibn al hasam wrote more than 200 books on a wide range of subjects. Unfortunately, most of his work is lost, but more than 50 books have survived. Half of the surviving books are on mathematics, 23 on astronomy, 14 on optics, and a few other subjects. He was a man of many talents and worked on unconventional subjects. To state a few, he wrote a treatise on the influence of melodies on the souls of animals derived a formula to calculate the direction of Mecca from anywhere in the world, propounded a theory to refute claims of false prophethood, and recited mistakes in the Ptolemaic model of planets and stars. Ibn al hasam describes his theology as follows. I constantly sought knowledge and truth, and it became my belief that for gaining access to the effulgence and closeness to God, there is no better way than that of searching for truth and knowledge. Famous scientists like Galileo Galilei, Roger Bacon, Leonardo da Vinci, Isaac Newton, and so forth, are believed to have read and taken inspiration from his work. The al hasan crater on the moon and asteroid 59239 al hasan are named after his Latinized name. UNESCO has declared the year 2015 as the International Year of Light. Among other commemorations, it will be celebrating Ibn al-Hassam's achievements in mathematics, optics, and astronomies.